guys. Happy Friday. <clears throat> Sprite here, Condi Systems. Very excited again to be with you. Um, I hope you guys can hear me well. So we're just going to go. Um, all right. So, guys. Oops. Mm, turn that off. There we go. Okay. So, I have some really, really fun new products. Um, just about everything we're going to do today is new with the exception of a porcelain ornament because um, it seems right about this time of year, um, well, everybody does a lot of porcelain and so there's a really specific way that they need to be done to keep them from cracking and everything, so we're going to go over that. Um, thank you, Jerry. It just really, it, it changes every day, so the, my hair color just is different every single day, which is great. I love it. Um, okay, so first off, let's talk about these pillows that I have here. So we're going to do one of these, um, but these are our new Subla Linen pillows, and this one is JDW773 three which is the blue one and i think it's seven jdw772 and jdw771 i'm not really 100 percent sure on that i should have wrote it down but i know that this one is jdw777 but i want you guys to just look at how cute this stuff is so so this is the subla linen but this is it's dyed blue and uh, we're gonna, so we're gonna do one of these. And this one is just super cute. So this is actually a uh, white subtle linen, um, but you can just tell like, I mean, the way the image took and it's just really, really cute. Um, and then there's this kind of like olive green one. And I just think this is adorable, but it's really, really, really cute stuff. All right, so. Got that out of the way. Okay, let me get all this stuff out of the way as well. Um, all right. Also, what we're going to do today is we have a whole bunch of brand new slate. And so we're going to be doing a piece of slate. And we also have some new um, ornaments and stuff from uh, Unisub. So but first let's talk about what is happening around here at condi so don't forget we have our no tricks just treats sale and let me see if i can add my little my little dealy bob here um let's see where did i put it oh no hmm well i thought i had it either way the the coupon code for twenty five dollars off of your order of two hundred dollars or more is CPN dash no tricks. Um, you can use it once a day, every single month, every single day this month. Um, the sizes of the new pillows, I think they're uh, like sixteen by sixteen or fifteen by fifteen because I'm going to be able to do a full press on my. Um, on my uh, SG-1000, uh, DK-20S. Thank you, David Gross. Yes, and also guys, our Sawgrass printers are in stock and shipping, and shipping for free. Um, and no, Stacy, the, the subtle linen should be in stock. We received a bunch of it today. Um, I do like Sprite. I, I just, I'm more of a water drinker and always have been. Uh, David just liked to bring me Sprites. Um, all right, guys, don't forget, SG-1000s in stock, shipping for free. SG-500s in stock, shipping for free. We have a coupon code worth $25 off your order of $200 or more. That is cpn no tricks. And also, next Wednesday, mark your calendar for 3 p.m. Central. We are going to be doing a live with Ashley from Artisfree, which is always a fun time. And she's going to be talking about making your own Halloween costumes and designing other holiday decor and gifts with Artisfree products. So that is going to be fun. Um, and even more exciting is Tuesday at 3 p.m. is episode number two of T-Shirt Transfer Paper Power Half Hour. If you missed the first one, 
you missed out. Doug is hilarious, and it is a really, really fun show. He has some really big news from Oki. Um, and, yeah, I think he also figured some stuff out on the Forever Transfer Rip, so don't miss that uh, Tuesday at 3 p.m. Um, it says 3.30, but I'm pretty sure it's 3. Check it out. It's, it's on our Facebook. It'll be streaming to Facebook and YouTube. Okay. With all that being said, guys, you know the deal. Um, I'm actually going to give away a customer appreciation box today, but I have a specific question in mind, and I'm going to wait till the end of the show, so... You know, so that means you have to watch me. Um, but I will also give away some artwork if um, if you guys will share this video and let's get some more people watching it. So the artwork that I have today that I'm going to be doing is really cute. Um, oops, where's my... There we go. And it is uh, this cute holiday pattern and then also um, this other cute little pattern that I'm going to do on some slate. So, um, uh, uh, Tabitha, that's a really good question. She says, if you start with Sublejet ink in the sawgrass, can you switch to the easy subly? You can, but it's going to void out your warranty. And um, it is my opinion that the Sublejet inks print better on the Easy Subly than the Easy Subly inks do. Um, I have a really comprehensive video where I did a bunch of testing on the Easy Subly, um, and you may want to check that out. So I would not, you know, also the Sublejet HD inks or UHD inks, they, you know, you can do everything with those. With the Easy Subly inks, you're only limited to Easy Subly because it's going to um, kind of fade out on like metal and stuff like that. So, all right guys, here's your patterns. Um, let's see if we can get some more people watching. Possibly we'll give them away, but one person will definitely, actually, you know what? I'm gonna give two customer appreciation boxes away. I'm gonna give one away on Facebook and one away on YouTube. If you answer my question correctly, which will be at the end of the broadcast. Okay, so first thing that I want to do today is our new, a new piece of slate. So we have, Gosh, I don't even know, like 20 different SKUs of new slates. Um, we have gloss slate, we have matte slate, we have all different kinds of shapes, and we have um, the kind that you hang from a rope, which are really, really cute. And uh, another thing that we got are these picture frames, and I absolutely love these picture frames. So. The, this is S-U-S-L-866. This is a slate picture frame. It comes with an easel backing. Um, and so it comes with an easel backing and you have, you know, you just apply some double-sided tape and it'll put it on there. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do my first design which is this design here and let's switch it over here so I can show you guys kind of what I'm doing so I've got my pattern printed out I printed this out on my SG 1000 on uh, die trans SPP paper that's item number SPP 1117 um, and I use the Sublejet UHD inks somebody got on to me the other day they said you never tell us what printer inks or paper you use, and you are right. Um, Patricia, you just email me, sweetheart. That's all you got to do, babe. Okay, so I've laid my slate on my template, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my template kind of around my slate, um, and then I'm going to tape it to the back. So normally I would do this on a bigger sheet of paper, but I had a couple of different designs on this paper so <laughs> thank you Karen I do appreciate you all right so this is going to be kind of a long press so we're going to press this at 400 degrees for seven minutes but we're going to use heat conductive rubber on the top of it so I'm going to put a piece of protective paper down I'm going to put my 
slate face up, image face down. I'm going to cover it with another piece of protective paper. And then I'm going to cover all of that with this heat conductive rubber. Now, actually, before I do any of this, I am going to let my heat conductive rubber heat up just a little bit. So, um, yeah, because if you don't use the, you know, using a cold heat conductive rubber pad is going to um, add more time and you're going to get white spots on your design. So we're going to go ahead and heat that up. Hi, Liz. Yes, this place is here in Mobile. The beautiful Mobile, Alabama was a little cold today. Not really. I guess 64 is not cold, but it is when you live here. All right, so I've got my green pad heated up. I'm just going to once again place my image face down, product face up, and now I'm going to press this for seven minutes with a medium to heavy pressure. And the thing with slate is, let's say you buy 15 of these uh, uh, picture frames, you may have to adjust the pressure on every single frame simply because the slate is a natural hand cut item. Um, the thickness may vary a little bit and the size may vary a little bit. So always check your template and always check your pressure. So the skew for the uh, license plate or for the uh, slate picture frame is SUSL 866. Hi, Penny. Um, Ada, I'm not sure what the part number is for the heat conductive rubber pad. Um, uh, Lindsay or somebody, if you guys could uh, drop that in the link, uh, a link for that in Facebook. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Hi, Miriam. Yes, yes, happy Friday. We have made it through another week. Very excited to be here. Okay, so this is gonna take forever. Let's talk about why you have to have the green rubber pad, especially for the slate. Because the slate has the natural cracked edges, you, what that heat conductive rubber is going to do is it's actually going to force heat into the cracks. So you're going to get, you know, uh, imaging even where it's lower than the actual, um, you know, imaged area. And uh, also because it is a natural product, it does have kind of divots and, you know, uh, imperfections in the rock and in the coating. So you want to make sure that that green rubber pad is being used. Uh... See, um, all these people talking about y'all had snow and ugh, uh, we don't ever get snow here. So anytime I have snow, I'm like, oh, I feel like you're like a kid. It's very exciting. Um, okay. So after this, we've got about four minutes left. We're going to do the new linen pillowcase. Um, hey, Keith, you know what? Uh, I don't have a video on how to price slates, but this is that's a really good question because we do have a pricing spreadsheet that we give out to our customers. Um, if you want to reach out to your sales rep, uh, they can send you a copy of that pricing spreadsheet. And we're actually working on an updated one. So, but we have um, we do have an old one that I, I definitely has the slate in it. Okay, so we are going to do this full top to bottom imaging with nothing in it. So we're going to see how it works. Um, yeah, I love this. I think it looks really, really cute. It's almost like a denim. I'll show you. Um, it's really, really, really cute. But it is in our sublet linen line, so it has that same feel. Uh, one of the things I like about the white linen is it actually has kind of a softer feel. So it's going to be like really nice to, you know, like actually like sleep on or not sleep on, but lay on. I'm excited for, excuse me, I'm excited for these. Okay. Is there any other type of heating pads out there? Um, oh, thank you, Karen. Uh, so the heat conductive rubber is HCR-1877. And then you can also, I think you can also buy it by the linear inch. Um, and Diana asks, is there any other type of heating pads out there? 
Um, yeah, I think uh, other competitors might sell a different type, but I'm, I can't really speak on that. So, <laughs> hey, babe, my husband's watching. Hey, Chad. All right. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to lint roll it. And we are going to pre-press this. Uh, the linen has a tendency to shrink. So if you don't pre-press it, you may get a little bit of uh, double imaging or go ghosting, really. And that's just because the fabric will pull, but the transfer doesn't. And so you get a little bit of, of, of ink where you're not supposed to. Okay. You know, I, I love these pieces of slate, but I hate doing them on the Facebook because then I have to like fill eight minutes of, um, eight minutes of, of time talking. And yeah, the, the H, the heat conductive rubber that I'm using is the eighth inch. We only have a couple of products where we, um, where we recommend the 16th inch, one of them being the acrylic, the other being like the natural shell jewelry, but you can actually use the 1 8 inch uh, heat conductive rubber instead of the 1 16th. You just need to add a minute of time. Okay, we got about two minutes left. Let us go here. All right, so for this one, because it is a 16 by 16 and I only have my SG-1000, um, I actually got this printed on our, um, uh, our MUTO. We have a, a big MUTO in the print lab. So, um, so I was not able to do a full bleed image on my SG-1000, but that's okay because what I really love about this linen is that you know, you don't have to cover the entire thing because it's so pretty anyways. And, and because it's blue, it's not going to show dirt so much. Um, okay. Oh, about 50 seconds left. Hi, Cheryl. Better late than never. Um, well, so, Diana, you need the heating pad for a few different things. So, actually, we're going to do two things today that you need the heating pad on. One is the slate, and the other one is going to be the porcelain ornaments. There are a few products where you have to have the heat conductive rubber. Um, you know, like I said, the natural shell jewelry, because it has divots and is kind of is a natural product. Um, uh, the acrylic, because you don't want to smash it, you know, and... and just there's there's quite a few products so always 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 check your instructions because everything is different oh we're almost done okay so we did this for seven minutes with medium pressure all right let's go back to this camera here and move this guy out of the way good that looks see down how kind of in the edges it's sublimated down into the edges really 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 cute this is a very very high value product um, this is slate uh, I talk all the time about the first time I gave slate away um, as a Christmas present and they they were blown away by it I mean they could not believe that I was able to create something like this. And I really love the gloss finish because in the past all we've had is matte and so the gloss finish really kind of adds a little extra. Uh, no, we actually got this um, butcher paper cutter from Uline, but I think uh, they sell them on Amazon as well, people have been telling me. So yeah, really, really cute. So this comes in the gloss and the matte. Um, we also have a heart frame. We have, like I said, we have the hanging pieces, lots and lots of new styles of slate. Check them out on the site in stock, ready to ship. Okay, now let's move on to the pillowcase. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to pre-press this for about 
probably about 15 seconds. Um, let me reset my time. Bring my pressure down some because this is going to press at a nice medium pressure. So we're going to let that pre-press. Okay, while that's pre-pressing, let's get our get our images ready. So we're going to use Pro Spray on these. So I've got my my Pro Spray here. My nozzle's nice and clean. I don't know if you guys could see the steam coming off, but that's just moisture. Um, you know, as David likes to say, moisture is our evil enemy. So always make sure you get the moisture out. Okay. Now you should let it cool completely. Um, uh, Teresa asks, what makes the frame stay up? And it's this, um, you have this backing piece that you just add a uh, double-sided adhesive to and it comes with an easel and then also this little spot here where you can um, change the picture out and then it also has a little like a hanger also so okay okay all right so i should let this cool completely um a clamshell press is not going to work very well on slate because you really have to get you know full uh, even pressure so um, a lot, you know, most of the issues that we do see with slate are people that are using clamshell uh, clam presses. How much pressure on slate? I go a medium, kind of medium heavy. All right, so here we go. All right, we're gonna cover this with a piece of protective paper. We're gonna press it for 60 seconds with medium heavy pressure, 400 degrees. Whoops, a little bit too much pressure. And there we go, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, the standard side bed pillows from Dollar Tree for $2 will fit well in these pillowcases. Um, I, you know, we just got these, I don't, I'm not sure what size they are. I should probably just measure them. Um, this I think it's like a 15 by 15 or it's a I guess 14 by 14 14 and a half by 14 and a half pillow but it fits really well in here and let's see this is actually yeah so the pillowcase is 15 by 15 so it would be a 14 by 14 pillow I guess and then you just shove it in there Wow, okay. I mean, that's full top to bottom. Um, you know, there's no problems with the edging, the, uh, the zippers down here. Um, so there's no problem imaging to the edge. There was no pillow inserted or anything. It was just pre-pressed and then printed. So let's let that cool a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna well we'll just we'll just make it cool. How about that? And then we'll do the second side. Okay, so let's go ahead and pro spray our image. Make sure it's oriented correctly. Okay, and then we press. All 
right, cover it with another sheet of protective paper and we're gonna let it go for 60 seconds. Uh, the size of the print is actually, I think 15 and a half by 15 and a half. It may be 16 by 16. Hey mom. Uh, I saw another question, but it went too fast. Let's see if I can. Um, the item number of the pillowcase, JDW773. Um, uh, uh, great question. Um, is the zipper affected at all from the heat? And no, it is not. So um, we're going to, uh, as soon as I pull that one out and it cools down, we're going to apply it and I'll show you guys, uh, or we'll open it and close it and I'll show you um, why I love this linen so much is because all of the zippers are rated for the heat. So any of our zippered bags, you place the zipper directly under the heat, no issues. A couple seconds left and then we're going to move on to some ornaments. And there we go. Let's uh, change camera angle so you guys can see it a little better. So there is the back of it and there is the front of it. So here's the zipper. Oof, it's warm. Zipper opens, no problem. Zipper closes, no problemo. Um, now, somebody asked me about the seams. Um, because of the way it's sewn, you are going to have, you know, a little bit of this area that's not going to be imaged, um, which is what allows for the pillow to expand. Let me show you on this one. Um, so, like, kind of right there. But because of the color of the linen, you can't, you know, you can't even really tell it. I mean, I, I guess you would if you were doing you know, the white pillowcase and you had a full color design, then you will be able to see that seam. Um, so yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the porcelain ornaments. Um, yeah, Karen, you can watch this. This is available all the time on our Facebook or our YouTube page. Okay, so we're gonna do a porcelain ornament. This is K120P-2, this is a porcelain star. And the reason we're gonna do this porcelain ornament is because like I said, um, a lot of people have trouble with porcelain. And that's just simply because there are a few more steps involved than normal. So to do porcelain, we need a couple of things. We need a Nomex pad and we also need the green rubber and that's just to keep the porcelain from breaking. So I have my Nomex pad down on my heat press. I'm going to cover it with a piece of protective paper. I'm going to use Pro Spray on my image because I don't want to use tape because tape's going to put uh, marks because this is a two-sided product. So we're going to Pro Spray it. We're going to line it up. Okay. I'm going to put it on my protective paper. I'm going to cover it. Oh, thought I'd have enough. Cover it with protective paper and then cover it with my heat conductive rubber pad. Okay. Now we are going to press this for three minutes, 30 seconds with light pressure. Change our pressure, change our time. You've got to be careful with these porcelain ornaments. I think last week I talked about, or um, yeah, I talked about leaning kind of on the heavy side of pressure, but for these porcelain ornaments, definitely want to be careful. Don't want to crack them. Um, is there something we can substitute substitute with the Nomex pad like foam? Um, uh, no, because um, the foam is not really, 
it doesn't really act the same way that the Nomex pad does. Um, uh, and Vidal asks, if, are you supposed to preheat the green pad? Um, I didn't, so we'll see if it, if it has any effect on it. it, it, may have, it I may have messed it up. Um, I guess you may could try the foam, but I don't think, I think the foam has too much um, dimensional instability, like it squishes too much, and the Nomex just kind of cushions more. All right. Um, the item number for the pillowcases again, the item number for the pillowcase is JDW773. Um, my shirt, actually, no, my shirt was done with the SG-1000 um, with the Subla Light No Cut uh, and the Hot Stamp Foil. Eee. Big shout out to Forever for making me this shirt. I absolutely love it. It's the Sublimator shirt. And uh, I've, you guys have probably seen me wear it quite a few times. Um, so I wash it all the time. What kind of oven do I use? This is a extra large Ham this is a Hamilton Beach extra large rotisserie convection oven. Rotis extra large rotisserie oven. It's model number 3110 something. They keep changing the model numbers. But if you go on the Hamilton Beach website, you t type in extra large rotisserie oven, um, all of these will come up. I like it because it has a stay on function and uh, it has a convection fan, has to have a convection fan. Um, also get yourself an internal thermometer. Uh, minimum thickness on the Nomex. It comes in a half inch, but I think we have it in a quarter inch also, but I always use the half inch. Uh, can I dry the shirt? I actually, I'm a horrible adult. <laughs> and so I wash everything with hot water and dry it with high heat. And so, you know, it, it's yet to fail me. Um, yeah, so for the ornaments, it is three minutes, 30 seconds, 400 degrees light pressure. Um, but, uh, is the, are the, the pillowcases should be up on the website. Are they not? Hmm. Um, we'll see if we can fix that. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting too many questions now. Now I've, I've lost count of what's happening. All right. We're almost done here. All right, let's see what happens with me not preheating either the Nomex or the green rubber pad. Ah, nothing. It looks really good. Um, we'll let that cool. Show you guys. Well, guys, sorry about that. I guess, um, hopefully, uh, I don't know why it's not up there. Um, I will make sure that it gets up there. So there's one side. We're going to let it cool, and then we're going to do the other side. So it does take a long time to do these, but you can do more than one at a time. So sorry, I have a bug bite, and it is just itching super bad. Um, actually, OK, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the second side, even though it's still hot. All right. A little bit of pro spray. Whew, very hot. Nope, we're going to have to let this cool. Um, it's not sticking to the transfer, so we're going to let that cool for just a second. Um, Oh, I know. Isn't that kitty design cute? That's uh, Zach made that design. It's available on our Etsy shop, uh, Condi Systems, Inc. All right. Let's see if I'm missing any. Yeah, I'm sorry about the pillowcases, guys. I thought that they would be up by now. Um, you can definitely call your rep and purchase them. Uh, I know we have them in stock. They're just not on the website yet, so sorry about that. 
All right, let's try this again. We're going to do a little bit more pro spray. Cover it. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Cover it. And press. Three minutes and 30 seconds. All right. So the last thing I have, um, so Unisub has come out with a plethora of new ornaments and um, they have hardboard ornaments, which they've never had before, which are really cute. I've done, I think I've done a couple on the show. Um, they have new semi-gloss ornaments. Um, uh, they have new, uh, new semi-gloss magnets. And so we're going to do one of their new semi-gloss ornaments, and this is in the shape of a bone. I really like this. This is U4857. This is on the website. I know it. Um, how do we access the designs we ordered before Kind of Design was moved to Etsy? Uh, Patricia, do me a favor. Send an email to marketing.com. Um, everybody should have downloaded all of them before we shut the site down. But uh, we, sh we, we have... <laughs> we should have access to all of your designs. So please just email marketing at condi.com. Okay. Um, well, we've got quite a few people watching, so that's always a good thing. You guys know what that means, but we're not going to talk about what that means yet. So, this is cute. I think this is really, really cute. That's a really, really high value product, too. Uh, uh, what are the heat presses? Um, what heat presses are you using? So this is the DK20S. Um, these presses are, I mean, I the best presses on the, uh, on the market, for sure. Uh, uh, Suna asked, what did I miss before the pillow? You missed the new gloss slate. Comes in a frame. Uh, we also have a lot of other, um, a lot of other styles and uh, sizes as well. Well, hey Cheryl, thank you so much for stopping by. Great that you are busy though. That's always good. Is there a glass front for the frame? No, there's not. No. Oh. Okay, we're almost there. And then we got one last thing to do, and then we're done. And then that's it. Um, is the oven great? How about the cups and tumblers? Uh, well, I mean, I've been using this oven for, what, about a year now? Never had an issue with it. Um, you know, it's, it's a hundred dollar oven. Uh, it fits the really tall tumblers in it. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's what I would go with. It's, it's the best one I've found, uh, in that price range. Um, I mean, my favorite oven is our Hicks oven, but it's like a, I think it's like a $6,000 oven, but boy, that thing cooks. You can cook four, uh, four 11 ounce ceramic coffee mugs for 10 minutes in that oven um, and you compare that to one 11 ounce coffee mug in in this oven and it takes 15 minutes so yeah that oven boy it, it pops all right there you go let me uh, change camera so here we go very very cute you can see it, there is a little white on the side, but not too bad. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a thick ornament. Okay, so good deal. All right. Now, for my last trick, we are going to do this dog bone. Uh, like I said, this is U4857. And the way we're going to do this dog bone is we're going to do, so it is one-sided. It's coated white and the back is silver but we can actually sublimate both sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this opportunity 
to put a logo, a brand, on the back of this um, ornament. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of fold it and I'm going to place the middle of my logo kind of in the middle of this dog bone. And I think that looks pretty good, it looks pretty straight. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to prospray it, line it up. Okay, so we're going to press this for 1 minute and 15 seconds, 400 degrees medium pressure. And because it is metal, and metal is a good conductor of heat, both sides are going to press at the same time. Here we go, 1 minute, 15 seconds. Jerry asked, is that regular copy paper? Um, no, ma'am. It is SPP, uh, Ditrans SPP sublimation paper. Okay, and we let it press. What is the best-selling ornament? Hmm, you know, that's an interesting question. Um, honestly, the porcelain ornaments sell better than any other ornament that we have. Um, Jerry, now you're confusing me. Girl, stop it. Um, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the porcelain ornaments sell really, really well. Um, you know, there's all these new shapes that have come out um, that are going to be really big this year. I think the, the Pentagon one is going to be big. Um, you know, it, it, really, it really just depends. I would, I would almost suggest buying one of each, putting them on display, and letting your customers, um, letting your customers uh, decide for themselves. Sure, Chris, the item number for the slate is SUSL 866. Okay, a couple seconds left. Let's see how it went. Now that is great. Okay, let's change camera to show you guys. All right, so I've got, you know, the cute little graphic on the front with the date. Remember, always date your ornaments. Why? Because the next year they have to buy another one. And then look, on the back is the company logo. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. All right, guys, so that's about all I have for today, with the exception of um, TC, who is your rep? I tell you what, TC, why don't you email me? Um, everybody, email me, swood at condi.com, and I will send you these two patterns. S wood at condi.com S W O O D at condi.com and I'm going to send you these patterns because I love you. Woo! Thank you, Jerry. All right. So in addition to that, I have a question and the first person that answers correctly on YouTube will receive a customer appreciation box and the first person that answers correctly on Facebook will receive a customer appreciation box. Now, this has absolutely nothing to do with sublimation. I don't care. I want you to tell me the highest grossing horror film of all time. Go. Whoever gets first, I will gift you a customer appreciation box. What is the highest grossing horror film of all time? 
Tell me. Ah, Cindy Lynn, got it. Cindy, send me an email, swood at condi.com. Good shot, chick. Yes, ma'am. I can't say the winner yet because nobody's gotten it on YouTube, so... Nope, 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 nope. Y'all are wrong. Everybody's wrong. Everybody's wrong. Everybody's wrong. Cindy Lynn, you killed it, girl. That's what's up. Oh, come on, YouTube. You got to do better. You got to do better, YouTube. There we go. Sherry Avalos got it. So, the highest grossing horror film of all time is Stephen King's It, which was put out in 2017. So, congratulations to Sherry Avalos and Cindy Lynn. Girls or guys, people, email me, swood at condi.com, and I will send you your customer appreciation boxes. So, let me write your name down, Sherry. Whew. So we all thought that it was going to be The Exorcist, and The Exorcist is actually the fifth highest grossing horror film of all time, um, behind Ghostbusters, which I don't really consider Ghostbusters to be a horror film. Horror film. Yeah, Mom, Cujo is a bad one. That movie messed me up. All right, guys, so in addition to that, all that great stuff that I just gave away, plus the artwork, send me an email. Um, Bob and Karen, I absolutely agree. Stephen King is my absolute favorite author of all time. If you have not read the Dark Tower series, do it. Changed my life. Cause like a wheel. Mom knows what's up. All right, guys. So every single week, I ask you to show me what you're doing, to go to our... our uh, I don't like horror films either, but I love horror books. So every single week, I ask you to show me what you're doing by going to our client gallery, uploading a photo. We pick a random winner every single week. And uh, this week, our winner is Jacqueline. Um, Jacqueline did these really cute luggage tag holders that she turned into closet organizer tabs, which I think is really, really cute. Um, so uh, Jacqueline, congratulations. You will be receiving an email from your rep on how to claim your $25 gift card. Uh, also, in addition to showing me what you're doing, we have a quarterly contest where you can win $400 in Condi Cash, $200 for second place, $100 for third place, and $100 for honorable mention. And the theme this quarter is show us your hotting, hottest sublimating Show us your hottest selling products. So not only is this a way for you to be entered into the competition, but you can also see what uh, the other people in the industry are doing really well um, with this, this season. Okay. Um, so also, I ask you to leave me a review. Tell me about the products that you are pressing. This week, my winner is or my person that I picked. His name is Paul. Paul Zawick, so I know I didn't say that last name right, he uh, reviewed our PFM61, which are the larger um, no-trimmed face masks. He said, these masks come out so beautiful every time. I played with the bleed percentage, and now I have the perfect template. Very easy to work with. Never any issues with alignment or, mo or moisture. I always pre-press. Okay, guys. Now I see I have started an entire discussion about Stephen King books. The Stand was really good, but the Dark Tower series, it took like 30 years for him to re draw, uh, write them. They were fantastic. And also, I'm not a horror movie fan at all. Ask my husband, but I do like scary books. And I did watch it because I haven't watched the second one, but I did watch the first one. All right, guys, that's all I have. Um, oh, cool. Crystal. Yay. Good. Nice, thank you. Good job, Crystal. Um, I think your rep is Wendell, I think, so that he should be sending you uh, information on how to receive your $25 credit. Um, all the shell is in stock, so check it out. All of the shells, uh, all of the natural shell jewelry is in stock. Okay, guys, that's all I have. Have a great weekend. Wash your hands. This is Sprite from Condi Systems. Happy sublimating. Email me, swoodcondy.com. Bye.